One of the last medical aid flights from Shanghai arrives in Madrid, stacked full of protective equipment. About three flights have been coming in every week. This air corridor has been operating since the end of March, when the outbreak in Spain was worsening. Spanish airline carrier Iberia has been working with two companies to keep the supplies rolling in. It's not just masks, but protective suits, the essential components to build ventilators, and even specialized parts for hospital beds. With the collaboration of FENIN, Iberia and the OESIA Group, with the invaluable help of the Ministries of Health, Foreign Affairs, Industry and the Tax Office, we set up the corridor. 100 million units is like more than two Olympic swimming pools full of sanitary equipment. And remember that China also collapsed. They're totally unprecedented flights without passengers. The 300 seats of the economy class and the hold of the plane are occupied by this appreciated cargo. The boxes have the exact measurements to fit the seats. Four captains and four co-pilots have spent almost 30 hours on board this plane, the time it takes to fly to Shanghai, load up and fly back again. Sadly, the crew now faces being laid off. In the 32 years that I have been flying in Iberia, I have never made a flight with no one inside, just boxes. It's a totally different thing. We've done it with pleasure. We've been called to make these flights. In the following month, we will surely return to layoff. Iberia will take other pilots in case there are any more flights. Many political analysts describe this as coronavirus diplomacy, a chance for China to do its bit on the world stage. And it comes as Beijing weathers more criticism for its response to the pandemic and for its repressive actions most recently in Hong Kong. We've also had a product arrival sequence that has not had any problems. Iberia has also been flying medical supplies to Latin America. But it's dwarfed by China's charity. Beijing says it's now provided medical aid to 140 countries.